Hey y'all, welcome to this week's What's for Dinner. I'm starting out showing y'all this crepe maker that I was sent. Um, I just opened it. I'm going to show y'all everything that was in it. And I'm going to show y'all a couple of things that I did with it in this video. I'm going to start out making bacon and later I'm going to be making crepes. And just a disclaimer, I have no idea how to make crepes. So just stay tuned and you will see what I'm talking about. Come with a little cookbook. And it comes with these wooden utensils. I'm not quite sure what we do with these, but we'll find out. And there we go. And as you can see, it does have this adjustable for, goes from zero and it has light, dark, and this little thing here, which I will find out what it is because I have no idea. Okay, one thing that I wish they would have included with this would be like some clear instructions on what these tools were and kind of how to work with the adjustment of like the light to dark, you know, like kind of give us a little bit of an idea of how it actually works because like me, I've never made crepes. I've never used one of these before, so it would have been nice to have a little bit clearer instructions. They gave you a cookbook with several recipes, um, but no clear like directions on how to use the crepe maker. But we're gonna start out first making some bacon. Okay, y'all, I am going to plug this crepe maker in. I did do a little bit of reading. Um, so we're gonna plug this in, and basically it's like a griddle, so anything you can cook on a griddle, you can cook on this. So we're gonna go ahead and make bacon for tonight's recipe, which is actually bacon cheeseburger um, soup in the crock pot, and it called for some bacon. So I'm gonna turn this up. I'm not quite sure where. I have it right now. I'm gonna take you off and show you where I have it. Right now I have it kind of in between the light and the dark. So we're gonna let that warm up. And also, over here, I am cooking some hamburger meat. This isn't exactly a dump and go recipe, but you could prepare this hamburger meat um, beforehand, or even if you are one that likes to um, cook hamburger meat and put it in the freezer, that would make this much easier. You could do the same thing with the bacon. So I'm just browning up a pound of hamburger meat. It's so funny, I was wondering why it wasn't getting hot. I guess the button was like way over here and I was looking at this. So <laughs> there's a line, don't be crazy like me. So now it's kind of in between the light and the dark and it should start warming up. <laughs> okay, y'all, the little green light has lit up, which means it's at the right temperature. So I'm setting y'all a little bit lower so you can see a little better. I'm gonna start laying this bacon on here and I hope I have it at the right sorry temperature so we're gonna find out all right y'all just trying to show y'all how it's cooking so I'm gonna kind of let it cook a little bit um, not quite ready to flip or anything, but I have a little bit more in this package that I couldn't fit on there, but we're going to go ahead and fry this up. Okay, y'all. This one over here on the end, I'm going to go ahead and flip. No, I turned it up a little because, like I said, this is trial and error, so I turned it up some more, so it will start maybe cooking a little bit better. So I'm going to turn that one back. Oops. Y'all <laughs> messy. Let's cook a little bit longer. Oops. And then over here, I've got this meat all done. And I'm going to start getting all the ingredients together to go into this crock pot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove this bacon. And then we're going to put the last little bit on and cook it on here. And this, y'all, you can use for... Um, Anything you can make on a griddle, like pancakes, you can make omelets, bacon as you can see. And this is a really cool little thing. Um, also, 
be on the lookout this week I'm gonna also make some crepes I have never made crepes so that'll be a little little bit later into the video but I want to make like some dessert crepes and I'll show y'all how to do that and I found out what that little wooden thing is for actually because I did a little research but that's what you use to kind of smooth the crepes out on it so I'm excited to try it I've had crepes but I've never made them so whoa don't get that plastic on there okay Y'all let me know what you think of this angle of the camera. Um, I'm using my little handheld, like what you would use if you're vlogging. I thought I'd put y'all at a different level. Usually you're higher up on my big tripod. Like This is what I usually use, which is my big tripod, and then I just angle it down. Just showing y'all some behind the scenes, but that's what I usually have doing it. <clears throat> <laughs> this little one but anyways we got this frying but y'all look at all this I probably should have got rid of some of that grease we shall see bacon is done and I just put okay I just put two pounds which is one whole container of Velveeta that I've chopped up in here I'm fixing to pour this meat in and then we're going to continue on okay y'all now I'm going to add in I've got one of these big containers of chicken broth 32 ounce because it says to add four to five cups of chicken broth but we're just going to have add this basically the same thing i'm going to add in a teaspoon of pepper and we're going to add in two tablespoons of this dried minced onion flakes and a teaspoon of garlic powder and two teaspoons of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, you know what I'm talking about y'all. Two teaspoons of that stuff that I can't never pronounce. Even when y'all tell me how I forget is it Worcestershire, Worcestershire, I don't know. So we're gonna put two of those teaspoons. And then I'm going to quickly come over and chop up my bacon. I did about half the bacon that I cooked. I put half of it into here. I'm going to get a spoon. We're going to stir this kind of together. And I'm going to cook this on low for about eight hours. I may end up turning it up a little bit as the day goes on. We'll see. Because I want to make sure all this is melted. And, yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to cover it up. And I'll come back a little bit later. Y'all, I knew something was missing. Don't forget, you need a, about a 32 ounce bag of frozen shredded hash browns. So I'm going to get those in there. I'm glad I went back over that recipe. because That might have been bad. Pour those in. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. Okay, there we go, y'all. And I think as this cooks, you know, the frozen hash browns are going to kind of give off some liquid too. So we'll cover this up. And there we go. That's how it's supposed okay, to be. Okay, y'all. Now, I've stirred this a couple times just because I wanted to make sure everything was uh, mixed up good. And so that's what I'm doing right now, just kind of stirring it. And I was going to make some of the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay biscuits or whatever, uh, but I didn't have enough time. I had to go run to town and get brass. So we're just gonna have like chips, or some crackers, whatever uh, everybody wants. But it looks, I think it looks good. So we're going to start plating this or bowl, putting it in bowls and we'll let you know what we think. All right, Bras, how is it? Ew, it's a hair. Whatever, no. how is it? <laughs> it's They're good. Here mine. Good? Okay, Adrian. What do you think about it? There's actually a hair in mine. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. It's yours. 
Probably yours. Okay. Well, yeah, it's very good. Okay. Why would he have it? Why are we talking about hair and food? You can wiggle your ears. <laughs> um. Hi. Right. Do you like it? Do you like it? Okay, next. Okay, Peyton's here, my niece. How do you like it? It's good. It's a little bit thicker than I thought it would be. What about you, Courtney? It tastes like baby food. <laughs> I like baby food. And now I'm trying to get my husband's reactions without showing him. Is it? Yeah. I'm kind of the same way. I finished mine, but it ended up being a lot thicker. I think I needed to add more liquid. But overall, I mean, it's not bad. It was easy, so if you want something quick and easy, and we're eating it with Doritos, that actually tastes better than the crackers. Mm -hmm. So, yep, there's tonight's hey supper. Y Tonight, we're going to be making um, fetti chicken fettuccine Alfredo. I've got my pan here, and I'm putting, I have about a tablespoon of butter and then I'm going to put probably close to a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm going to heat this up over kind of medium, high-ish. And then I also have back here um, a pot. And I'm going to put some salt in it. And we're going to bring this to a boil for our fettuccine noodles. And, and then I also have our chicken right here. I'm going to season this up. I'll show you all just a second what I'm going to season it with. I'm going to season it with a little bit of onion powder and some garlic powder and then I have this Montreal chicken uh, seasoning made by McCormick. And I may end up adding some more of this seasoning once I get it actually into the pan. So, I'll move you back over there. Okay, y'all. Now, I'm going to put this chicken in there. And I'm just going to toss a little bit more of this seasoning on top of it. And this is a very simple, easy recipe. Um, I know I've shared it before, but it's been a little while and the kids have been wanting this, so I figured I would show y'all tonight, especially if you're new to my channel, um, how we make an easy chicken fettuccine alfredo. So I'm going to go ahead and get this chicken cooked, and then I will bring okay, I'm going to add in our fettuccine noodles. And I always like to break these in half. And we're going to let these cook for about 10 to 11 minutes. So I'm just going to set my timer. Sorry. Okay, y'all. Our chicken is basically done. So I have this Prego roasted garlic parmesan um, alfredo sauce. And we're going to put that in. And what I also like to do is I'll take some heavy whipping cream and pour it, pour a little bit into this jar and shake it up with the lid so that it kind of gets the rest of this out and it kind of helps make this a little bit creamier. So I just use like the, just the heavy whipping cream. I'll pour, oh no, not too much, maybe like that. the lid on shake it around to kind of it'll kind of help get some of that off the sides don't want to shake it too much <laughs> but kind of help a little and I turned this down kind of in between low and medium on mine it's like around a three and a half to a four <laughs> And then one other thing, sorry, I'm going to move y'all for a minute because I'm going to get in my cabinet, is I like to add some Italian seasoning. And my noodles are done, so just a second, and I will be draining those. So I'm just using just, just regular old Italian seasoning and just sprinkling 
some of that in there. And then I'm just gonna kinda let this warm up a little bit. And in the meantime, I will take those noodles back there and we will strain those. And then I will come back. Okay, y'all, I have this warmed up real good. We've drained our noodles, and now what I like to do is just mix it all together. So I'm gonna pour all of that chicken and Alfredo sauce over here into the noodles. Don't wanna leave anything behind. This is so good. I'm so excited. And the kids are excited. Do you hear? Courtney's excited. She's helping me. She always like she always gets the drinks and sets the table, which we're gonna sit over here on the little oh, island today. I want a small table actually today. And then I'm gonna grab this like spaghetti noodle, whatever spray thing. And we're just gonna mix all this together. And I have some Texas toast, garlic toast or whatever. It's called Texas brand or something like that. Garlic toast. I'll show you all. Okay, y'all, my battery died. Here is the garlic toast. And here is the box it came from. It's New York Bakery Texas Toast. It's just the plain garlic flavor. You can get it with cheese, but I just got the plain garlic. And like I said, we just I just always mix this as well as I can. Kind of get it all mixed together good and yeah. That's it. It was very easy to make. This is a very quick, easy weeknight meal. So we're going to sit down, get it all on our plates, and of course, you know, we'll come back with reactions, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be thumbs up all the way around. My husband's not home tonight, so he won't be a part of it, but me and the kids will. So I'll see y'all in just a second. Okay, guys. Time for reaction time. My hands are slippery. Mom's talking about that she dropped her phone and Shut broke her up. screen protector. And she said that since she got the new iPhone that she's never going to drop it. My hands are slippery. Oh, my word. Do you have a pop socket? Mm -hmm. How'd you drop it? Look, y'all. How bad is it? No. Well, they can can't see because you have it off. You got that face on it. <laughs> see right? Turn it off. keeps wanting to turn on when I do that. See that right there? Uh-huh. So, my reaction to the food, it is thebomb.com. You should know that everybody's going to like it. It is so good. One of our favorite foods is chicken alfredos. Oh, so what do you think about it, Adrian? Um, stop getting up. Oh, my oh, nose, I have these things. Oh, and my these word. Things. There's nothing there. And these are good. <gasps> okay, Bryce. It's terrible. That's why he's shoveling his mouth full. They've been begging me to make it. All right, now, so, Mom, your reaction. It's good. <laughs> and it was easy, which is something I like. I like an easy meal, especially today. It feels like today is a Monday, but it's actually Tuesday because mm -hmm. the kids were out of school yesterday, and I've been running around all day. Oh, yeah, by the way, follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. Today I was doing, like, what are your assumptions about me? So I was, like, answering, and I always, like, share every day. So Here's yeah. her Instagram right here. So follow me if you're not always following me or if you're not already following me. If you're always following For like a little behind the scenes always, inside scoop you of the farmhouse life. <laughs> you see the food before it's on YouTube. <laughs> Follow me if you're following Bye. Hey y'all. Tonight I'm going to make some crepes. I'm going to use that crepe maker that I showed y'all earlier in the video that we used to make bacon. Well, I've got it out over here again. You can probably see it there. And we're going to make some crepes and we're going to make them like cream cream cheese filled with some strawberry like jelly that my husband made in it. So anyways, we're going to start out by making the actual crepes and I'm going to use a blender because that's what the recipe I found called for. And all I'm going to do is combine all these ingredients into here and we're going to mix them up in it and blend it up until it's smooth. And then we're going to set it to the side in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or so, or you can do it overnight and then we will come back and I will make these crepes and we will have them for dessert tonight. Um, to go along with our supper. So we're gonna start out with some milk. So I'm gonna aim y'all down now. We're gonna put two cups of milk in here. And we're gonna also add four eggs. I'm 
Then we're gonna add in three tablespoons of melted butter, which I have right here. Um, a tablespoon of sugar. And a teaspoon of vanilla. A half a teaspoon of salt. I've never had a crepe, guys, so I'm scared. Oh, it'll be good. <laughs> And then we're going to sift in one and a half cups of flour. And I just use this little thing here. I had a smaller one, but I have no idea where it's at. So, sorry, I'm about to put sugar in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start sifting this in. I made a little bit of a mess on myself. But anyway, so now we have everything in here. And we're going to um, put it over here on my, my little blender that I've had forever. This thing is old. Let's hope that she works for us. So I'm just going to do it on high and... Okay, now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put this in my refrigerator for about 30 minutes and then we will come back and make crepes. Hey y'all, tonight we're gonna make tortilla chip enchiladas or it can be called lazy enchiladas. I'm gonna start out right over here with my oven, set this thing to 350 so it can preheat. And then I have my skillet here and I'm gonna add one pound of ground beef. I have just the lean ground beef that I get from our meat market. I'm going to start browning this while the oven is preheating. My meat is a little bit frozen, but it'll thaw as it cooks. It's only just a few parts that were frozen. So we're going to throw a little garlic and onion powder because I always have to season my ground beef up. Whoa, that onion came out kind of quick, so I'm just going to kind of stir it into the rest. Um, whoa, that is some frozen meat. Also, I'm going to throw a little pepper here. A couple pinches of pepper. A little bit of salt. And then we're going to just let this cook. And you know what, y'all? Just for the fun of it, I'm going to throw... I have this um, Fiesta brand taco seasoning. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit. Not like the full amount you'd put for tacos. But I just thought it would give this meat just a little bit, you know, a little something, something. So, I'm going to do that. Okay, y'all. Now the meat is done. So, we're going to add in some other stuff. Um, we're going to add in... Four ounce can of green chilies, which I couldn't find, so I bought these. I've shown these before. Um, <clears throat> so I've got four ounces of those that I'm going to add in. We're also going to add a half a cup of salsa. I just used um, pecani sauce. That's what I had. And we're going to add in one teaspoon of ground cumin. Mix all this up. Just the green chilies, the salsa, and the cumin. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, our next step is I'm going to take a bag of tortilla chips. I had a bag of Tostito chips. 
I'm going to crunch them up and we're going to pour the entire bag um, inside of this large mixing bowl. So I'm going to okay, crush those up. Mm -hmm. You don't want to crush them too much. It says to gently break them. So I'm just going to try not to break them too much. Sorry. So since these are a little bit smaller, I'm just kind of breaking some with my hand. So I'll just pour them in here and if I see any big chips, kind of break them up but since they're kind of already small they may not need too much okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the beef mixture over the chips We're going to pour the entire can of this enchilada sauce. I have a 28 ounce can. That's the size you need. I've never actually used this brand, but it was all they had in and I thought I would give it a try. So I'm going to open this up. So we're going to pour that entire can in here. And then we're going to also add one cup of cheese and then we're going to gently mix all this together. And I am using um, Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. It called for cheddar, but I thought I would just use this since I already had it. Okay. And then we're going to, like I said, we're going to gently just kind of mix all this together. Okay. Now we're going to move over here. I'm going to move you over here. I have a 9 by 13 inch pan. And we're going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And we're going to pour the mixture into this um, 9 by 13 inch pan. Now I'm going to get some foil and cover it. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna bake it for 50 minutes. Hey y'all, we are going to make a like cream, whipped cream cheese filling for our crepes. So I'm going to take um, an eight ounce block of cream cheese. I've had it out on the counter softening, so I hope that it's soft enough. Oops. It might be a little bit cold still, so hopefully, see, hopefully it'll be okay. Hold on, I'm gonna soft, I'm gonna stick it in the microwave for just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna hope that I have got it at least soft enough. So we have an eight ounce block of cream cheese, a fourth a cup of sugar. It said you could use regular sugar or powdered. I'm just using regular because. Uh, it's just easy. It's just what I have nearby. And then also one teaspoon of vanilla. Nor my bottle, but this is some good vanilla. And next we're going to, I just have my hand mixer. And we're going to beat this until it's smooth. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make up some homemade whipped cream that we're gonna mix into it. So I'm gonna get everything okay, together for that. I have just the heavy whipping cream that you get from Walmart. And we're gonna mix a cup of that. And I haven't made this in a while. My husband usually makes it, but I help his mom. She always makes homemade. So I think I remember how, because this called for either pre-made or store-bought whipped cream to add into the cream cheese mixture so we're just going to make our own and then we're going to add in some powdered sugar which I'm just going to kind of start out and then we'll taste it I don't really know how much I'm just going to guess and then I'm also going to throw in 
just a tad, maybe about a half a teaspoon or something of, or however much that is, maybe, uh, maybe a little more of vanilla. And now we're gonna mix this up. I'm just gonna use the same mixer. I think it'll be, or beaters, I think it'll be fine. And y'all, as you kind of go, you'll want to taste it. Like, I want it to be sweeter than this. I'm going to put a little bit more sugar in it. You know, sweet cream. It's supposed to be sweet. So, I'll do that. I wanted to show y'all, like, how it's starting to thicken up. So, I'm going to kind of let this go fast mode. <laughs> okay. Now, you don't want it to be too thick. Then it, like, will end up turning to butter. <laughs> so... I'm just gonna kinda take a little taste of it. Mmm, that's good. So now, we're gonna take this whipped cream that we just made, if I don't make a mess everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna take it and we're gonna pour it into our cream cheese mixture. Hopefully this isn't too much. It said one cup, which it started out as one cup. <laughs> Oh well. I, either way, I guess it'll be good. It maybe might be more than one. I don't know. And now we're gonna mix this up just until it's smooth. I don't want to over mix it. Now I'm gonna taste this. I just have to know. <laughs> Y'all, that is good. That right there is good. So, looks all mixed up. I'm just kind of making sure. I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to put this to the side. And we're going to start making our crepes. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this filling. And then, I've got, have y'all ever heard of strawberry banana jelly? Well, my husband made this. It's been in the freezer. And uh, we're gonna try that with it. So, just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are going to make our crepes now. I have the crepe uh, maker set but a little over light. There's like a little dot above light. I'll show you real quick. We're gonna, I'm really not sure um, where to have it, but that's where it's at. The light is on green, so it's up to temperature. I'll put y'all back up here. Okay, so we're gonna spray a little bit of this nonstick cooking spray on. And I have our mixture over here. And the way I, it said is to measure about a quarter of a cup. So since I've never made these before, I'm going to do it just like it said. And this may be too small. This is our first one. Um, I have this little thing. I think it's for smoothing it, but I think I don't have enough, hold on. Maybe it's because they were doing it in a smaller pan, so. Well, I'm just kind of learning, so. I see where they did it is they kind of used this to smooth it around, and I may be taking and doing it too slow. Okay, maybe next time do it quicker than this one. It's my first one, so it may not be the best, y'all. <laughs> okay, I don't think I did that one right, but. These make pretty good size crepes. And then it came with this little wooden turner thing. And I may have it too thick in some places, so my bad. Okay, y'all, you can see that this was a fail. I mean, or at least in the beginning. <laughs> um, it's not turning out the way I thought it would, but I mean, it is my first time making these, so yeah. And it smells good. Um, I don't know how it's going to taste. Okay. This first one, I'm going to say, might have been a fail. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just take it off. I'm going to spray. Okay. Now, let me get my thing. And the way i seen them do it was... To kind of okay, and as y'all can see, I'm still having trouble. I haven't quite figured it out, but I'm trying. <laughs> I promise it will get better as the video goes along, but I thought I would just show you this just to show, you know what, 
sometimes you'll have little hiccups and you just have to move on and and hopefully everything gets better <laughs> think ah there we go maybe this is the way uh oh looky there looky there uh oh i think i just need to turn it up a little bit more so i can get a little bit darker uh oh y'all Okay, now it looks like I'm kind of getting the hang of it. So we're going to try again. And I'm going to this time just pour it on there um, after I spray it and spread it out. I kind of started getting the hang of it. So they started getting better from this point on. Okay, y'all. They started looking a little better than what they were. I don't know if they're completely done. I mean, I think so. I had a little bit of the batter Ooh, left. No Ooh, so no, I'm no, making no, no. one more. Yeah, one more. Don't worry, it's one more. And then um, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna, yeah, we're we're gonna, gonna try all these now. out. And Bross is here, so. Yeah, duh. <laughs> My hands are cold. There it is, y'all. It's done and it smells so good. We're just gonna make an easy side. I'm just gonna make this microwavable Spanish rice. We're gonna have that, and we're gonna have our crepes, which is dessert. Okay, y'all, there is our tortilla chip enchiladas. Today's National Cheese Day. <laughs> yeah, Courtney said, there's our um, rice. Here's the crepes and the filling Great. and everything that we're gonna have okay, for guys, dessert. If y'all are confused, tomorrow's January 21st, and you need to appreciate the squirrels. It's tomorrow's appreciation of the squirrels. Oh, and day. what is it, like hug? It's National Hugging Day too. So hug a squirrel if hug you can a squirrel. find one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna sit down and eat yeah. and let you know what we. Think. <clears throat> how do you like this? Oh my word, Adrian! How did you like the food? Good. It's good. I want crepes. We're gonna do those next. Crepes. Okay, Courtney. It's a little bit dry though. It's, it's good. <laughs> I think I will cut the. If I do this again, I would cut. The cook time back a little. It looks like it's like a shredded. It reminds me of like kind of like tamales or it does, something. It does. Okay, what do you think about it, Bryce? Come on. He don't on. want to be in it. Oh, all. it's so nice. Um, it's good. Is it good? Tastes like a tamale. Um, sort of. It tastes like you. It has the texture of it. Yeah, I wouldn't compare it to enchiladas. I would say more like a tamale casserole or something. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's good. And in a minute, we're going to do crepes and we'll let you know how yep. those right. are. Right? <laughs> oh. Okay, Courtney. <laughs> how do you like the crepe? It tastes like sponge. But is it good? <clears throat> Bryce, <laughs> did you like the crepe? Yo, that's real good. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to oh, master making crepes a little better. No, they're